he's an absolute icon of American racing. He's a Triple Crown winner. Only two have won the Triple Crown in the last 40 years, and they are American Pharaoh and Justify. So there's been a huge response to him, and many of the leading breeders uh, in Australasia will be sending him some of their best mares. 525 here, everyone else, I have. EC, 500,000, thank you. Henry Field, who was responsible for buying this horse as a yearling, told me that when he bought him, he saw him as a golden slipper type horse. Such was his physique. He has that huge hindquarter, big forearm and gaskin, very short cannon. Overall, his physique was that of your typical Australian two-year-old golden slipper horse. But he only got to Bob Baffert as a three-year-old or at the end in the December of his two-year-old year. I remember the first time I laid eyes on him, he was just a specimen of a horse. I mean, he, he is probably the most gorgeous, best-looking horse that I've trained. His body, his, his, uh, his neck, his shoulder, his head, his hind end, was, he was built like a quarter horse. And my first impression was, wow, he looks too fast. I mean, I don't know how far he's gonna go. And so uh, we start working him, and they, he came in. They told, told us how, how good he was, and the, and the further we got along with him, he just, you know, was showing us something. And the first time I worked him at Santa Anita, it was like, wow, this guy is like, this guy's got, he has gears that are, you know, incredible. Uh, that it's, he has gears that we don't see very often in horses. Bob produced him to win his maiden in February of that year by nine and a half lengths. Justify, will justify his odds on the quote with the promise of bigger things to come. He then went to an allowance which he won by six and a half lengths. Now he's one of the most talked about horses in America. So Bob puts him in a grade one for his third start, the Santa Anita Derby. He monsters a horse there called Bolt Doro. He took on Justify in the Santa Anita Derby. Justify nailed him to the fence and ran away from him to win by three lengths. They're off in the Kentucky Derby. Coming to the wire, he's just awesome. Justify has won the Kentucky Derby. At this stage now, Bob Baffert started to think that the Triple Crown might be a reality. He took him to the Preakness, where Good Magic decided to try different tactics, and Good Magic took him on, and they went stride for stride. Again, Justify shook him off, and won by half a length, with Good Magic dropping back to fourth. Then we went to Belmont. That was quite a remarkable performance because Justify jumped out of the stalls, powered to an early lead, kept up a relentless pace all the way through and had enough left at the end to beat a very good horse called Gronkowski. We're into the stretch and Justify comes roaring home. Justify from Gronkowski. He's just perfect and now he's just immortal. Australian breeders have reacted very positively. Uh, just recently it was announced that Bob Peters, who's just retired, uh, one of his best young mares, Galaxy Star, who won the railway, going to justify. Uh, Jerry Harvey, so many of Australia's leading breeders will be sending some of their best mares and Coolmore's commitment to Justify is absolute. Justify's first book in America is the best ever served by a first crop sire. We have to match that to, as best we can in Australia. And so off we went to buy mares like Maastricht, Dam of Loving Gabby, and Sri Candy, Group One winner of the Tats Tiara. They cost $2 million a piece but we had to buy them. Global Glamour, dual Group 1 winner, bought for a million and a half, as was Invincible Star, who got an Everest slot. That's how fast she was. At a million dollars, we bought a New Zealand champion, Savvy Koo, 
who joins another New Zealand champion in our Marilyn, whose first foal sold for $1.8 million through the Easter sale ring. That's the quality of mare. Now that's just the commitment that Coolmore alone is making to this horse. And that's never been done here before, not with Danehill, not with Fast Ned Rock or any of those great stallions. Never before has there been such a commitment in terms of mare quality to a single stallion.